make sure you stand behind her tractor so you don't get ran over. Help. Okay, I'm getting irritated trying to do videos. I've tried to do about 20 of them today and I don't know. I'm just not really, uh, you know, like feeling it. I don't know. Too much other stuff's going on and my head's just not in with not talking about what's going on. I've, I'm trying to stay away from it and that's what it is. Um, another reason I've been trying to do little short videos Another reason I've been trying to keep my, well, I just, I can't, I, I, yeah, so you know what, yeah, yeah, I tell you, totally support uh, Freedom Convoy 2022, highly support the truckers, uh, pretty much if you don't stand behind them, you might as well stand in front of them. <laughs> I remember back in the day there used to be uh, military uh, troop stickers like that. If you don't support our troops, feel free to stand in, or feel free to stand in front of them. We, uh, so I'm just, I'm just changing it up, just changing it up. If you don't support our truckers, feel free to stand in front of them. It's not any different, guys. No freaking different. The saying, okay? Like Jesus. Um. Yeah. I, I. It's ridiculous what the news and media is portraying of everything and then you you see this stuff on global news and um uh, uh, other news stations global is like the biggest ctv global is the biggest one that pisses me off that i mostly somehow see everything too so um yeah how you know they're yeah, there's been one or two bad protesters up there because uh, and it's even been proven one was paid by the media um, and was followed around like constantly with a camera. The entire place this person went with one flag. Um, there's a cameraman directly behind this person. Um, he was against the trucker rally um, and he was just there to cause trouble. You know, um, they're saying all the truckers went in and stole the homeless people's food, which is 125% bullshit. Uh, you, you see by other little videos and pictures and that, um, they have all their food tables set up. They're feeding the homeless. They're helping everyone out. They're shoveling freaking sidewalks and roadways there. Um, and yeah, I totally support them. It, it's great too because Justin Trudeau and uh, what is it Trudeau Trudeau and uh, the chief of police in Ottawa I just keep uh, I'm talking about oh, oh gotta bring the military I might have to bring the military in like as a scare tactic or something so uh, the defense minister minister of defense ended up tweeting and uh, what else I think Facebooking it or just tweeting it yesterday that there is absolutely no chance the military is getting involved in a police situation uh, when they have protests down here and there's protests where they block the train bridges or train tracks and that um, and the local police can't handle it they don't call the military in they call the RCMP in uh, I just find oh, oh that's deep. Uh, which I I love to oh, oh that was like I went through the ice there. Which I love to hear uh, treating our military like uh, like what the hell? Yeah. And and the military, that's another thing. They just let go hundreds of people, I don't know the proper count, but hundreds of people who refused to get the vaccine too. So the military was already short on personnel and now like after the trucker convoy is happening you're like oh we better let go even though the mandate was January so I'm saying this 
they did tell everyone you have to be vaccinated by December 2021. But now they're going starting to go through the process of letting everyone go. A month and so on after the uh, the man like their stupid mandate about being vaccinated. Now people are saying, well, military got to be vaccinated anyways before they deploy and this and that. Yeah, against vaccines that have been around for years and tested and that and that. Yeah, but it's just a bunch of bullshit. Fucking. Uh, I don't know if this video is making any sense. I don't even know if I'm going to edit it. I'm probably just going to put an intro and outro in and post it and hope for the fucking best. That's just the uh, mood I'm in, guys. No offense. Nothing about you guys. Just me. Just a me. And uh, what else is happening around here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Convoy this weekend. Um, part of it's going to Toronto to... Uh, protest now i i love this i love this i love this part right here because it makes me so extremely happy um doug ford is standing behind the convoy and is welcoming welcoming them into his city now i say his city he lives there he's the premier of ontario so you know he, he's the head honcho of Ontario, if you don't know what a premier of Ontario is. And I say that because we got a lot of other people that watch this channel that isn't Canadian. And even some Canadians might not even know what a premier, premier is. But, um, yeah. So, you have him standing and welcoming the truckers into Toronto, which is, is awesome to hear and see having, having the Conservative Party and politicians behind the um the entire movement but meanwhile what's your face andrea hoffen hoffen or big uh she's pleading with um ford you know blah 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 that's not right you can't be you know she said i've been in protests before but They've lasted a day and they've been peaceful and never end in violence. And it's like, what the? You're such a stupid old fucking cunt. You fucking stupid NDP fuck. You know what? You're never going to get in the office. I don't even know why the fuck are you even trying to run. You're such a fucking moron, you dumb fucking bitch. You know, just see my rage, guys. It's like, ah. Uh, oh, truck. So... Oh, my camera's been pointing down. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of other um, politicians that have made statements standing behind the uh, convoy. And then there's a. Um, I'm not sure who's made these comments, but I've seen comments where they said the politicians should not be supporting the truckers. It's not right for them. Oh, so, so, again, here's the government trying to force the government into supporting and telling people what is right. Uh, thank God conservatives understand, most conservatives understand how to stand up for themselves and uh speak your own mind that's not saying all that's saying some guys some like come on give a guy a break here I, i'm a redneck you know uh, <laughs> anyone that leaves awful comments in the comment i'm like hell yeah i don't give a shit i don't know everything i'm not smart i never said i was smart i'm just a fucking idiot that rides around on a fat tire fucking bike doing whatever the fuck i want saying whatever the fuck I want. Sorry guys, there's a lot of swearing in this video. Usually I try to cut out the swearing, but I just fucking, I don't know. I'm just so sick and tired of the news and shit, I don't know. There's been a few times I've gone out and done these videos and I'm, they've never hit the fucking channel. It's like, ah, uh, I'll, oh, I'll post a, a throwback or something. It's like, no, nope, I'm not posting this. I just, oh, I don't know. Uh, there's some videos we do post about ranting. I don't know. I find it relieves stress by ranting, even if it 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've had people, I haven't had people say, but I've read people's comments saying, you know, to other people, well, how can you support a convoy that doesn't um, affect you in general? You're not doing... Actually, yeah, they're standing up to support and stop all freaking mandates, people. Um, yeah. Take your balls in your hand or your hoochie in your hand and hold it with pride. And, yeah. Ugh. That's, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Oh, do not enter. Well, fuck you. I do what I want, so I'm entering. Oh, if I was in Ottawa right now and I did do not enter, they probably would say there's some rogue guy on a motorcycle going the wrong way down streets, wearing a rebel flag, yelling obscene gestures, yelling obscene gestures. Showing obscene gestures, yelling obscene things to people. Oh yeah, the media would just have a heyday right now with me. They would flip what I'm doing right now a hundred million degrees the opposite way. And yeah, I know you can only go 180 the opposite way. That's the whole point. I do and say whatever the fuck I want. Sorry again for language. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I'm Canadian, okay? Give it up. We apologize a lot. Even though sometimes we apologize, we don't mean that we're Canadians, we still say sorry. You got that? Sorry. Not sorry. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. There's some, some, you know, some people hide who they are on their social media and that. And, hey, Tipsy and I, well I got Tipsy and he, he left a couple comments, but mostly nothing too bad because he's not for the online trail and neither am I and that's a crosses my buttons and I get enough is enough in the last few days enough's been enough but Cletus McFarland he has a group with 70,000 people on and this is freaking great um, someone posted a picture of a child holding a Canadian Canada flag out in the rally and uh, said that Cletus should do something. A lot of people were, not a lot, but a few people were saying, oh, Cletus won't do anything politics on his channel. Um, nine, there's a couple hundred comments by the time I last looked at it. And 90% of the comments were all for the convoys and the standing up. Because more people understand it's just not Canada this is happening. And it's the world. It's Australia. It's everywhere. Africa, you name it, it's happening. U.S. Like, come on now, people. And this truck's here, parked on the Yeah, there we go. So, ah, yeah. Well, there's a few heated things. I got blocked by a few people in that comment section because I'm speaking my mind. I'm telling people what I actually are thinking about them and everything. Didn't get Facebook banned, I don't know how. I called one guy, he was he was being something, and I'm like, oh, poor crybaby. And uh, next thing you know, I seen he replied to my comment, but I couldn't see the comment because he blocked me. Tipsy sent me a screenshot of that comment. I can't remember what it said now. It said something, something, oh, you're blocked now. It's like, oh, you're one of these snowflakes who, when you do something, you got to tell somebody you do it. Oh, hey, I'm blocking you. Blocked. I see. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. E. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this video seems to be working out a lot better than my other videos I tried to do before this video, goddammit. E. 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 Oh, God. Flippy, flippy, flippy. Yeah. Um, Saturday or Sunday, there's a meet up here at, uh, for everyone going up to Ottawa at, uh, what is it? Uh, the truck stop over there, or the fall bridge, I think, in the Belleville group. Uh, I think they leave at 9 or 9.30. Tipsy and I are going to try to be there whatever day it is. Got to check Facebook. It might be tomorrow. Yeah, you might be watching this when actually Tipsy and I are out at the... 
check that film footage. I forgot about that. It is, and I, uh, so we're probably going to go out there either way, no matter how cold it is, what the weather is like, to get some footage of some trucks, even if it's only a couple trucks. We, yeah, we need that footage. Oh, green light, yeah, I'm pumped. Oh, advanced screen, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, no. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end that video off there. So, uh, have a great day. And, uh, remember, make sure you stand behind our truckers. So we don't get ran over. Hell yeah. Stay tipsy, stay tripping. And stay redneck. Cheers, y'all.